everyone. Um, I've had a few requests about um, a couple of Jamiroquai songs that people would like to look at. Um, uh, the parts that I played on some of the songs. Um, one of them was that song, Seven Days in Sunny June, as it's June the 10th and it's uh, raining outside. Um, <clears throat> I thought I'd just give a little lesson on how I went about playing the guitar parts. Um, I used acoustic guitar on the track. There's acoustic and electric on the track. Um, chord sequence is quite simple. It's, it's B minor seven, F sharp minor seven, B minor seven, F sharp minor seven, F major seven, G major seven, A major seven, D11 or a C with a D bass. Um, I always call that a D11. Um, one thing that I, I do quite a lot when I'm playing these kind of chords, well on that song actually, is I treat my, when I, like I hammer on my second finger on a minor seventh chord like this. So if I, I, I play it in the song, three, four, See that I'm hammering on my second finger to the, uh, the minor third in the chord, and I, I always think that's like um, like a piano player that when they lay their when they play a chord they kind of lay the chord in they they, they sort of they don't just play it all in one go sometimes they kind of lay notes in, and that's that's the thing I like to do um, with chords quite a lot, um, so you get this effect. A nice little musical uh, expression rather than another thing I do is I play the F sharp, uh, the F minor, uh, the F major seven chord, sorry. And then I slide in to the G major seven and to the A major seven chord as well. So so it's very quick. I do a lot of that kind of leading into chords from the fret below. Um, yeah, that's what I did. So that's that's the acoustic part. Um, when I recorded that, I, I had an old, um, I had a Taylor guitar, and I, I, I remember that that was double tracked. There was one on the left, one on the right. It was just the same thing played as close as possible, a, a really strict double of the, of the acoustic part. Um, then there's an electric part in the chorus, which I'm gonna play on acoustic guitar. Um, it goes like this, three, four. for that is I'm playing, I'm barring my first finger, it's like a B minor, it's on the B minor 7 chord, I'm barring my first finger on the 7th fret of the B string and the E string, and I'm doing down, up, down, up, and then my 4th finger goes to the 10th fret of the B string, and my 3rd finger goes to the 9th fret of the G, and I do this. So it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And if you can 
can see, I'm, I'm just strumming the, the, uh, the G, B and E strings. And when I'm playing this shape here, you can see that my, my second finger is laying across the lower strings. So I get, if I hit a lower string and it's ringing out, if I didn't have that, it'd be, which you don't want. You want it to be nice and clean. So my thumb is on the back of the neck. My first finger is, uh, my second finger, sorry, is resting on the lower strings, the E, A, D, the E, A, and D strings. And my third and fourth fingers are playing those, those notes there. And then I go to the, I'm playing the eighth fret of the B string using my fourth finger. The underside of my fourth finger is muting the, the high E string. I'm playing the, the, the eighth fret of the B and my other fingers are laying across the strings below. So yeah, those are the those are the two parts. Oh, there is another part at the end, uh, a, a lead line that I played on a strat. Uh, it was a strat with a bit of a bit of drive and a, a wah wah pedal, which goes. Um, it's just that melody that keeps repeating. Three, four. So that phrase is, I slide into the fourth fret on the D string with my first finger, like that. My fourth finger goes to the seventh fret of the G and then slides up to the ninth. And then my first finger goes to the seventh fret of the D. finger bends up from the seventh fret to the, the to the uh, note about just a semitone bend then releases back to the seventh fret fifth fret of the B and then with my first finger fifth fret of the B with my first finger like that and then my third finger goes to the seventh fret of the G string and then slides down to the fourth fret. So it goes like this, one, two, three, four. notice I rate the strings on the bend so I get this so I rake I rake down the strings like that so what that means is I'm my, my right hand is resting on the strings the lower strings so I, I, I mute them so when I do the bend to get that you don't you don't have to do that but and I'm I'm picking most of the notes and then I'm just sliding down to that last one. So yeah um yeah I hope you enjoyed it and uh I hope you're enjoying the lovely weather we're having in June. Take care and see you soon. Bye.